Alright guys, what's going on? Today is the of the uh, Iris Manager 2.60 update for your PS3 running on custom firmware. This update to Iris Manager installs compatibility with the 4.46 custom firmwares. Uh, so uh, first and foremost, before I start this video, uh, you need to be running custom firmware in order to do this. You need to uh, have a 4.60 custom firmware or lower for this to work. Um, or 4.46 custom firmware or lower, my apologies. And uh, other than that, all you're going to need is a USB stick so uh, and uh, your uh, custom firmware running PS3, pretty much. So, um, plug my USB in here and uh, let that come up. There we go, open files. And here we are on the root of the USB. Now, if you haven't already, what you're going to need to do is make a folder called Packages in all lowercase letters, spelled P-A-C-K-A-G-E-S. Double-click on that and open it up. Now, all you're going to do is, after downloading this file that has the uh, download in the link below, will be available for you guys. Just drag and copy that to the Packages folder on your uh, USB stick. Now there's two ways you can do this on your USB. You can either put it in a packages folder so you know where everything is, or you can put it directly on the root of the USB and install it that way with install package files on the XMB or your PS3. And I'll show you how to do that. Um, so yeah, um, we'll be installing this on uh, 4.46 Habib's uh, 1.09 custom firmware. The uh, 1.13 has come out and I got that right now. Tutorial will be coming out soon and I'm also working on getting the Alexander 4.46 custom firmware from the Italian creator. Uh, so uh, stay tuned for that. So without further ado, let's go to the PS3 and take care of business. Alright, so back at the PS3 now, we're going to be looking at the uh, install package files. Once you plug your USB in, if you put the Iris Manager package on the root of the USB, you can go to install package files and it will be right here. If you haven't done that, you're going to have to go and open up your Stealth Man or Multiman. If you would like to know how to install Stealth Man, Multiman base, um, or the, well, the Stealth version of the Multiman base, uh, just go ahead on my channel and look it up, and you'll find the uh, Stealth Man for 4.46 custom firmwares. You can go there and learn how to install the Stealth Man properly. Uh, the download links and everything will be below that video. So, uh, moving on, booting up Multiman here, what you're going to do is you're going to scroll over to the Install Package Files in Multiman. The little menu is going to come up when you hit um, X, and let's see, you're going to look for the Iris Manager 260 unofficial PS3 mod. Hit X to copy it, and then hit Triangle to Q, and, uh, or, well, X to Q it, and then Triangle to install the Q. You're going to come back to the XMB. Once you get back to the XMB on the PS3, scroll up to Install Package Files, right here, and click Install Package Files, and you will see the Iris Manager 260 unofficial PS3 mod PKG. Click X to install that. Once it installs, it will install automatically. If you have an Iris Manager on here previously, it will update that Iris Manager completely. Go to Tools, and you will see Iris Manager. 260 unofficial PS3 mod or you will find it somewhere on your XMB in your game section let's click X and open it up and see what it looks like very similar to PS3 to manager and very similar to the past iris managers just few bug fixes and compatibility with 4.46 custom firmwares have been added so here we go so this is what it looks like now you can manage your game backups from here and boot them to the blu-ray disc emulation uh, PS3 app home so you can run them and uh, that's about it so yeah rate comment and subscribe to my channel feel free to donate if you would at the bottom for more materials and proceeds for things to go towards stuff on this channel for you guys to have help with basically and uh, check out my website software-reborn.com and uh, follow me on twitter at deathrain333 my old channel name just type that in with an at in front of it and you'll find me and uh, check out my blog electronics and software as well as anything else you have questions with, feel free to message me. All right, so take it easy, guys. I will talk to you guys later, and enjoy your new.